Hi, this is Scott Pekarik with Verde Real Estate Group with today's home buyer tip. A question I frequently get is, hey Scott, how do I improve my credit score when I'm trying to buy a house? And with me today is Brian Thompson with NRL Mortgage to answer that question for us. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for having me, Scott. I appreciate it. A lot of people don't understand how to increase their credit in the short and long term. A couple of really, really short term facts are if you have a maxed out credit card, getting it under 20% will really help. It can jump your credit, depending on what you have on your credit, it can jump your credit as much as 80 to 100 points. It can make really? that, yeah, that much of an impact. When you have a credit card that is maxed out or above its high limit, it acts almost as negative as a late payment. So it's very important to control your debt on your credit cards and keep them low. Okay. Um, what about long term? If I want, you know, say I'm six months. What? What? I guess let's define long term. What is that? Yeah, long term is typically three to six months or longer. Okay. You know, short term. Short term, I put under ninety days or less. Okay. Um, long term would be dissecting what is on your credit and why it's on there, how long it's been on there, and when is the last time it was reported on your credit report. So okay. a lot of people have collections that have been on there for three years, but they haven't reported in three years. So um, it's something that they can get removed, um, and that's something we work on together. It is it, it, The long-term aspect of things depends on what's on there and how long it's been on there. Okay. All right, awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Brian. Uh, I'm Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group. We hope this homebuyer tip was useful, and like always, if we can be of further service, please let us know. Thank you.